Today we're looking at the 2020 Junior State Cup Northern Conference Under 8 Boys Grand Final. Oh, how about that? It's even better. Count of the day, count of the hour. That is sensational. So in 2020 was the first year they introduced the under eight boys. Uh, unfortunately, because of COVID, there hasn't been this division played since. So the first and only time we had a grand finals between Manly and Newcastle. Nice. Let's have a look at this one again. Very nice effort here. Okay, so we'll get the pen ready. Okay, here we go. So, Newcastle defenders here. They seem to be moving forward nice, uh, nicely together. However, they sort of all have come to a bit of a, a flat stance, especially this young fella here. So he's sort of stationary. He doesn't think the ball's coming his way. So the Manly attacker is able to de defeat or de uh, beat this man here. And as we continue play, this is a missed touch. And by the time the number nine here realizes that play is still going, he's still flat-footed. He actually hasn't started, he started his run yet. So he skips here around him and or oh, just makes a touch here. He was able to recover enough to make that, that try-saving touch. But what a great shot that is. And um, hopefully the cameraman was there at the time. Great touch. Great call from the referee. So next play, again trying to run around the outside. Nice switch play. I like that. Let, let, let's, let's have a look at that again. Whether or not this was pre-planned or not. Okay, so this is the time of the switch. So he's drifted across this way, the Manly player. Also drifting across this way are these two defenders in particular. They've come from here and here. So all their momentum is shifting towards that side, towards the left. Okay, and when he drops the ball under to this player here, that means he can basically go against the grain. All the momentum is shifted one way, he gets the ball and he goes the other way. Let's, let's continue the play in slow motion. There it is there. So all the Newcastle have pretty much had a wave of defenders just crash over this side and it just allows him all that space uh, to get to the try line. Luckily, nice reaction time by this Newcastle defender here. Cuts that, cuts that space off and forces him back into the, uh, into the um, defenders. So nice reaction time there from the number eight. And yeah, Newcastle then collapse in and all make that touch. So nice defense from Newcastle. Nice bit of scramble there from the eight boys. And they get the ball back, which is great stuff. This is Newcastle's chance. <laughs> nice play the ball there. Number seven. Bit of draw and pass here. I like that draw and pass. Let's let's have a look at the draw and pass. Now it's something that something that's very crucial to uh, talk uh, to teach the young fellas or the young girls it is a draw and pass. It's just a fundamental skill, like a good dump as well. So we got let's go here. So he's drifting wide. Now at this point he has one two outside him. Okay, and there's one defender here and then one outside him. So essentially, this guy here should be marking this player. So it's a three on two. So what's great from this Newcastle player here, if he just keeps drifting sideways like he's doing, if he just keeps drifting, then eventually he's going to run out of space. The sideline is out there somewhere. Okay, and when he drifts out of space, this person here will be able to pretty much touch all the attacking players at the same time. So what does he do? He straightens up. Watch his run now. See how he's straightened up and he's made the defender plant his feet. He's straightened up and now the defender drifting this way has to straighten up as well. What does that do? Opens up this gap for this number eight. It's, an, it's a really, really nice draw and pass there. Unfortunately, the draw was perfect, but the pass just a little bit high and he had to stop to catch it. But hey, they're under eight boys. If they can get the draw right, that is just gold. They are gonna go a long way in their touch football. 
and he had a, a 2 on 1 here, so we still got the 2 on 1, but the attacker out here, he's probably standing a little bit wide, I don't know if he can pass that that um, that long, but if he was screaming up this channel, I, I can pretty much guarantee that it'd be a try for Newcastle, let's just keep playing, he doesn't actually pass it, he, he, he goes the, with the dummy, but that's okay, and then they try and pass it out there in the end, but it's a turnover. But a really nice draw and pass here, and it's a really good example of, of, of that. Um, Newcastle with the ball again. Nice run out of dummy half. So there, there, that's that draw and pass that we talk about if if they don't straighten up. So it's awesome, though, the, the fact that he's gone out of dummy half to catch this guy napping. So he's got all this space, and he's got a defend, uh, an attacking player really wide, and there's a defending player out there as well. So he's going for the two-on-one. Let's have a look. He's running into the gap, which is good. He's trying to get this guy to come in and this guy to come in. Uh, what he probably needs to do is instead of continually running at this fella here, he probably needs to make it seem like he's running forward to score the try. This guy here will think, oh, he's going to score the try. I need to come in. This guy is obviously just going to chase him as well. Uh, but he does send, uh, tend to drift a little bit. He does go with the pass, though. It's the right option. But as you can see with the pass, body position here is still I know where my man is and if that pass is going I'm gonna go with it which is what the manly player does which is really good whether or not he knows what he's doing it's just good instincts okay it's good to have as a young player instincts like that the pass was actually really good let's go back the Newcastle player is running probably at a good distance doesn't really have to slow down to get it but it was just good defense good defense there from manly so we're 10 minutes in and we're still no tries yet. Oh, long ball. I want to say that again. So first let's uh, talk about the pressure here. Now, if I was a betting man, this guy here thinks that he's going to get the ball. And he basically wants to smash him. As soon as he's getting that pass, it turns it into a hospital pass. Great vision here from the dummy half to see that player come up and smash it. He's had a look first, he didn't just pass off the ground, and he passes over the top. It actually gives nice numbers now to the number seven. He does have an attacker out here, but again, he's probably too wide. And this player here probably isn't confident enough to pass that ball all that way. So he tries to run around, and they do get caught with the ball. But there's a lot of good things that are happening with this team that... Um, at first glance, you might not actually realise. Now Manly are back in attacking, 12 and a half minutes in. So we're halfway through the game, or just a bit over halfway. No touch there. Oh, again, a close call. Very, very different. Uh, Manly's footwork seemed to be their go-to, whereas Newcastle seemed to be more of that technical draw and pass. So let's, let's, let's play this in slow motion. Well, there's a draw and pass there. That's a nice one. Let's talk about this. So he waits, he gets the ball and he waits. So they must have realized, they probably were tipped off by the coaching that Newcastle are sending one shooter up. Okay, so we can wait with the ball. When he gets close enough, we eject the ball to the player next to us. Okay, if he wants to then chase that as well, what he's doing is he's running in front of his other player. Okay, so it kind of makes this guy do nothing. He's running in front of the player, which in juniors, at this age is a big no. You want to be sort of holding that flat line. So he passes the ball, and there's that number five sort of over committing. Now all his momentum is going this way, okay, which makes him vulnerable for that step back. Okay, let's, let's keep going. There's the step back, and he just misses. And now look what he's left. What is he left open by over chasing? If he lets this guy here make the touch, this is the, uh, the, the blonde fella, if he lets him make the touch, He's back here, and he can't run. This guy can't run anywhere because they're still at a flat line. So he's, he's tried to do too much, that Newcastle defender. But we don't have that. He's not there now. <laughs> the Manly player's like, he definitely didn't get me, so the ref calls play on. Good honesty there from the Newcastle player. He goes for that gap. Again, the number eight is still leaving that gap. He probably needed to get in and fill it as quickly as possible. So the gap's filled. Uh, the gap's not filled, and he gets through it. But it's just great desperation here from this defender who was originally left left out and uh, ran in front. It was just, and props to this guy as well for a good reaction time as well. They were just managing to to save that try.
great defense, great scramble defense. <laughs> I love that step. That could be um, what our thumbnail for this video was. The old head step. Let's just have another look at it. <laughs> we do always say that probably half the step is with his and, and half the deception comes from the eyes. So he's taken a little bit too far there, but it's always uh, nice and entertaining to watch. So here's a turnover. They've got on the ball really nicely here, Manly. And it's about to pay dividends. There it is. There's your first try. Now we're 18 minutes in the game. Now this game actually, <laughs> the post try celebration. This, we'll go back to that. This game was actually only 20 minutes long uh, because of, from what I remember it was, shortened because uh, um, weather. Uh, most of the fields were waterlogged so they condensed the games um, to fit all the games on like, the limited fields that they had. So the games are only 20 minutes instead of 25. So we'll go back to the turn over here. Sorry, I might have gone a little bit too far with me rambling. But we get to see the head step again. We'll go forward. Okay, so Newcastle have got the ball and they just lost it. They've just lost the ball, referees just called it. This bloke here, this bloke here, they've heard the ref and what do they do? They sprint to that ball. They know that if they can get a quick play of the ball, one, two, three, four, Newcastle players become offside. So that's what they do, they run straight to that ball. There it is. Newcastle have just got back on side. Dummy half's got the ball, ball's now live and in play. So that's just a great transition from Manly. They're, they're nice and enthusiastic on getting that ball. Um, and because of this, Newcastle, these two guys here are actually still on the line. They haven't moved forward yet. So I think they were caught a little bit off guard by this one actually. So we'll keep playing. And because they remained on the line, instead of being up here, that means he's just got all this space to run around. If they had have been up a little bit further, he would have had to then basically run into them. Okay, but they're a little bit too deep. They didn't just get off the line like they should have been. Yeah, he was just able to run around, which is, which is good speed, good good agility, and, and I love the post-strike celebration. I don't know what he's doing. <laughs> He's still doing it, and this is really funny because Newcastle actually ran up to get a quick tap, but they had to, I don't know if they thought they could get a quick tap, so Manly went from post-try celebration to absolute freak-out mode, but that was the first try of the game. So here's Newcastle again, getting really close. So they're getting really close here. This is actually um, very close to what Manly's near misses were like. So let's look at the defenders here. Again, go back a slight bit. See how we've got one defender in front of the other, rather than them being side by side. So this this bloke behind, he can basically do nothing. He can't make a touch because the manly player is in front of him. So they really needed to be one here and then the other one here, covering more space. So I always teach the kids, basically when we're defending, no one runs in front of another and no one runs behind one another. Okay, if we have to link arms to do that, we do that. Okay, but that's just a, a fundamental rule that we have to get in place because I know the kids, they really they really wanna do as much as they can and, but we just gotta stop the old magnet to the ball defense. And there it is because he's tried to do a little bit too much. His momentum's all forward and then he's just been beaten. See how he fell forward? He's fallen forward because that's where his momentum was. He sprinted at the ball. And when you sprint at the ball like that, if you're beaten in a half step, you can't recover. Your momentum is too far gone. So Newcastle then, and because he shot up, there's the gap. So he's gonna just gun to that gap. And there's 20 seconds left. And what happens? Manly do a great job. Again, that scramble defense and they close that gap. Okay, good from you, good from, good from you. All right, so they earn the ball back and with 15 seconds left, all they have to do is hold the ball and they actually get a, a runaway here and, and nearly score another try, but there's the game. And while it does say three nil, um, the junior scoring system is the first try is worth three and the rest are worth two. So the game ended up one try to no tries and Manly got there in the end. Um, 
but it was a great game. It's <laughs> a little dancing. And I do remember this. The crowd was um, absolutely packed. The stadium was full, and and everyone really enjoyed watching the under eights. So hopefully they can come back again in 2024. Uh, but thanks for watching, uh, and we'll see you again on another episode of Game Analysis. Thank you.